Boys, welcome back to Omaha. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do this. Scott Hurst is Fullerton's best player. He leads off for the Titans. And it's a leadoff walk for Scott Hurst and Fullerton. Valenzuela bunts this one up the first baseline. Thompson, the pitcher, has to fire in a hurry. And it's good enough to sacrifice Hurst in the scoring position. And Thompson hits him. Ten for twenty. Uh -oh. And he drives this one high and deep to center field. Elliott Carey all the way back. And that one is gone. A three-run shot for Timmy Richards. Fifth home run of the season for Richards. He was this titanic blast over the wall in left center. Yeah, get it started and get the bat head out. And this ball is launched. That's the big part of the ballpark on a ball that, and how about the wisdom to stop at first base right there, make sure you don't run into an out. And I love the look right here. Watch where the contact point is out in front of home plate and the strength to get it out to the big part of the ballpark here at TD Ameritrade. Yep. To short. Grenier has it, and that'll close the first inning. A 29 pit, and Carey is the same way in center. Catches, catches, interference. catches interference will put Stephen Kwan on. Clip the glove of Chris Hudgen. This one's poked to right, went down and got it. Kwan will stop at second, and Oregon State's got two on with nobody out. So the first two have reached against Connor Siebel. And he tips it into the catcher's mitt for strike three. One down. They'd hit about 150 points higher than their competition during the season. To third. Nice pickup by Bryant. To second. Just in time. Great job by Valenzuela to keep his foot on the bag. So they don't get a chance to me. He's a guy that knows what he does best and trusts his stuff. Time, time, time. And he hits Anderson. Just the seventh hit batter this season. And now the seventh pitch of the at bat to Adley Rutschman. And he lifts this one to left field. Chris Pes Prescott has plenty of room. And Oregon State misses out on an opportunity. They leave the bases loaded. Hill for pitchers on his game. Up and in, and that one to second. Madrigal will finish it off. It's a one, two, three frame. And Jake Thompson has retired five in a row. Middle of the second from Omaha. Comes up, so there's a lot of arms and legs. Watch the high leg kick, kind of up, pointed toe in the air. Down the line and fair. Takes a funny hop off the grass. Down to his knees to get it is Anderson. And standing up at second with a leadoff double is Michael Gretler. Gets the button down. Siebold. And there's one down. Gretler advances to third. Is it the C? He misses low. Two on with one. Pulls it to the right side, diving south. Persinger, the second for one. But Oregon State finally breaks through on an RBI ground out from Kwan. To the right side, Valenzuela gathers. And that'll close the second inning. We weren't getting a lot of attention. The family decided we got to make it work. Makes it work with a Omaha. Brian Holiday of TCU did it. 2010. Runner goes. It was a strike. Throw to second is a strike. And Persinger caught stealing to end the inning. I got to hit in the lower half a few times. Thank gosh, never up. Jack Anderson loops one into right field. A two out single. So if, if the second time through is any, any indication, Oregon State's starting to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. now. Lifted to center. Scott Hurst drifts back. That'll close the frame for Oregon State. No runs to hit. The eighth pitch of that bat to Hank LaForte. And he's able to draw a one-out walk. Taylor Bryant up the middle. 
Infield was a double play depth, and Bryant's got his first hit of the game. Six home runs on the season. Pulls it to the right side, handled there by Harrison, and he'll take one He's out. out. Cullen advances the runners again. He does it 54% of the time, and he has a productive out here. Instead, he lines this one to left field. That's going to bring two runs home for the Titans. And it's a 5-1 to one lead for Fullerton. Your A game. I don't know it matter if you went 54-4 and four during the season. you got to bring it every time. Madrigal handles the flare to close the fourth inning. Team All-Conference selection. Swings at the first pitch, deflected by Siebold, and that may have cost him an out. One out single. For to short, Richards will win the race to the bag, and that will close the fourth. When we return, Mike ruined the prize. You're still hungry after the steak you ate last night came with a handle. <laughs> I've seen smaller boat oars. Perton program, right? I mean, he's a great baseball guy. He wore that uniform as a player as Madrigal bangs one up the middle. It's a it's a blue collar program that sometimes with four national titles plays better than the town. To the left side Richards with the backhand long throw pulls. Persinger off the bag and Oregon State's got two on here with two out more consistently. Into left field Prescott has plenty of room. That'll end any Oregon State threat. Two hits, but two left on. They've stranded eight through five. Exited before right. six full, and that was last week. Leadoff walk to Richards. Nobody would have believed him. No. Oh, what a play by Rutschman, and they'll get a double play out of it. Line towards center. Oh, Stephen Kwan goes airborne. That'll earn a hug to Mahalan. First beach ball of the tournament. What do you got on the over-under there? Okay. Gretler with the walk. Yeah, going back to the schedule, a win today. This one in long relief. You can use them in a high leverage situation, okay. or you can bring it back and use them in your second game. So two walks here in the six changes the entire game plan that you've put in place for your pitching. And the bases are loaded now for Oregon State. Sends it to center field. This will push Hurst back. It'll get a run home. Tagging from third is Gretler. Sack fly for Nick Madrigal. Thirteenth pitch of the at-bat, and the breaking ball's up and away. Base is loaded now for Oregon State and Trevor Larnick. <laughs> up the middle, it gets through. Two will come around for Oregon State. Quine scores, and it's a one-run game. How about it, boys? The number. Oh, up the middle again. And we are tied. What an inning. They're not accidentally. To left field. Prescott. Two steps back to close the frame, but not before. To the right side, a 1-2-3 frame. Jake Mahalan wastes no time here in the seventh. Trying to bunt his way on. It's a beauty. And Jones is safe, and the throw gets away. He uses his speed to his advantage, and Preston Jones is standing on second base. Again and again after a four-run lead. That'll help. They get the strikeout to take care of Quan. 
We go to the eighth inning. Top of the order due up for Persinger. Tie game in the eighth inning. And he rips one to third. Gretler recovers. One, two, three frame. Mulholland. On how to prepare and really get ready for a start. This one's driven deep to left field. Harrison puts a charge into it. And it's caught. Oh, no way. Scott Hurst just took one away. They said he was the best to take in his head. The athleticism and the fearlessness to take on the wall and not lose focus. Look at the eyes. And you can tag that one for sure as he takes away extra bases from K.J. Harrison. Here's Trevor Larnick. He drove in two with a single last time. Bounces one up the middle this time. And a two-out single has Larnick on board for the second consecutive at-bat. And there's your run. Hit him. Two on with two out. Anderson has been hit twice. Larnick is the runner at second. Anderson at first. And that one is up the middle. Larnick around third. Oregon State has its first lead of the game off the bat of Atley Rutschman. Wow. What a bounce back for the Beavers. You take a punch to the gut as you get extra, and things have switched ever since. Ah! That's a big strikeout. It retires Gretler. It closes the inning. Belt this year. Closer by committee. Strikeout by committee as well as Richards goes down swinging. One down and a perform on the stage that he... Worked so hard to get back to. Ah! Oh, yeah. Wow. Back-to-back -back K's from. Popped him up. Anderson's got a beat on it. And Oregon State runs its winning streak to 22, thanks to a come-from-behind victory in game number one of the 2017 College World Series. And I got to believe the entire tournament's a little disappointed with that result. You got the number one team in the tournament on the ropes, and they come back and show their championship medal to take a huge game one. And for the Titans, they got to regroup. What a tough loss. Jake Thompson struggled in the start. The bullpen was nearly perfect. They faced the minimum.